Yes, you saw right. Breaking news to basically report. And at the end of the day, you know, it's the hot topic that everybody has on their mind. Binance, the innovation zone. Is there anything that is concrete that's going to come out from this? Let's jump into this. Shout out to the one and only Mr. Dip Metaverse. Come back into the frame. Please smash that like. Let's talk about the hot topic of the day, which is obviously Jasmine, Binance, the innovation zone. Here's the update. Dip Metaverse reported on this roughly about five hours ago. He says, Jasmine friends, the Binance innovation zone has been renamed to introduce. Well, introduce what? This new thing called seed and monitoring tags. I have taken more of a look into this and it does show it under two tags. One is the monitoring tag and the other one is the infrastructure area. It says when he clicks the innovation zone in the Google search screenshot below, he gets a 404 error. He went through the liberty of taking the time to make a thread for more clarity on the situation for Jasmine. This is yet another reason why I truly believe that when we get the results about who is going to be an ambassador from certain countries like the U.S., I think Dip Metaverse is going to be the one who represents us. I'm just throwing that out there. And if anything, he has my endorsement. I think he deserves it. Again, thank you guys for your support as well. I think Dip Metaverse definitely deserves it. All right, let's jump into this. And I blew this up. And he shows what it looks like on the Google search, right? But there's a lot more to it than just this, right? So as we go further into this thread, he says seed refers to innovative projects that, quote, may exhibit higher volat uh, volatility and, quote, risks. Monitoring is for tokens that, quote, exhibit notably higher volatility and risk. And when you go to Binance US, you even see the disclaimer talking about OK, um, so it also mentions that Jasmine, according to Binance, exhibits higher volatility, hence why it has a monitoring tag. I'm going to blow this up. I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're talking about here. In fact, I'll blow it up a little bit more because if you are sitting at a distance on your couch and viewing it from your couch to the TV, it might be a little hard to see. Um, currently speaking, this is the biggest I can make it but it's a little bit bigger. So he has these things here. And if anything on this part, I probably will read it to you in regards to introducing seed tags and monitoring tags for tokens with high volatility and risks. Um, on the stamp below where it is written in bold, uh, top left area, if you actually go to Binance.com, not necessarily Binance.us, but literally Binance.com, um, this was introduced sometime maybe late yesterday um it says 7 25 right you know july 25th okay here is what it says in regards to the seed tag the c tag will replace the innovation zone it will be applied to all tokens currently listed in the innovation zone as well as future listings that represent innovative projects that may exhibit higher volatility and risk in addition binance will introduce the monitoring tag which will be applied to the following tokens that exhibit notably higher volatility and risk. Now, on this part, I do have um, the actual site up, and I might just pull that up for you guys. Let me see if I just get to this for a second, uh, where it mentions a lot of these key things. Actually, I don't. I thought I did. Well, let me see. There might be another one I could pull up. Um. Well, that's not pulling it up either. That's okay. But nonetheless, you do see that and glad to share that. Now, we're going to jump back to what we have because there's obviously a lot more to it than just this. Um, on this next topic, um, let me see if you guys can see this. Yes, you do. Um, on this one, he states, when you use Binance, let's zoom in a little bit more, uh, you can see Jasmine has the monitoring tag, and I'll show you guys that here in a bit. Um, you know, it's an arrow in the green. When you click the monitoring tag, you get two options to click between monitoring and infrastructure. Let's see what happens when we click each one. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Um, I do happen to have that. <clears throat> so this is a live feed and just double checking my settings that you can see it. Yes, you can. 
And as you can see right here, it does list it under monitoring, but when you click on the actual tag, watch what happens. There's another area for infrastructure. Um, like it says, click to access the coin list in the same zone. Um, earlier, uh, there's a disclaimer on the right side that talked about the um, volatility of Jasmine and so on. I didn't happen to have that saved. I might be able to just refresh it, but I don't know if it will come back. Let's just try it once. Let's see if it comes back. And as this is loading up, it, it usually was on the right side. So I, I guess it's because, you know, I already accepted the terms that I knew was volatile. <clears throat> so that's what's going on with that. Um, I want to show you guys obviously a little bit more in regards to this. Give me just a moment. All right. So jumping more into this, I'll show you guys some other things that uh, Dip Metaverse pulled up on this thread. Of course, like it shows, you know, literally what I just showed you. And when we get to this fourth point, it says, when you click monitoring, you can see some projects that are not so good, like FTT, VGX, two coins of exchanges that went under. And you, of course, can see Jasmine. Here's a screenshot of what he's talking about. I'll pull this up on the other page. All right. So this is what he was talking about. I did have this up um, up and open earlier, but you could verify it for yourself as well. And notice on the top left how it mentions um, Binance.com slash EN markets, coin info, monitoring. Um, and then it has, for instance, some of these. They put Jasmine into that. <clears throat> So that's what's going on with that. You know, I've owned VGX. I mean, you know, some of you guys have as well. But the point is, we don't like the idea that this is still like in this area, right? Nobody likes this, but it's just, it's the way it is. There's a little bit more about this. Hold on. Let me jump back to this. Um, here we go. All right. So Dip Metaverse also talks about that. Basically speaking, when you click infrastructure, you can see some good projects. QNT, right? Chainlink is basically there. Um, do you guys see this page? Hold on a second. Yeah, you do. All right. Sometimes it gets kind of funny how it's listed. All right. So those are all great projects, right? We cover those all the time. Um, if anything, I'll blow this up as well. I'll share it on the other page. All right. Went ahead and blew that up a little bit. I mean, it's not zoomed in perfectly because this is from his screenshot he doesn't blow it up like i do but yeah you do see link you do see quant you do see for instance you know the graph i cover that as well render some of you guys have render um a lot of good solid projects listed here and so on right but here's the thing if you go to the bottom the very very bottom where, where it says infrastructure the, you know yeah it seems like i'm covering bad news right dang it max you're covering bad news we giving into the flutters no Go to it yourself. Maybe I could do it right now. Binance.com slash EN markets. Let's do that real quick. That way it looks a little bit bigger for you. Um, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, EN markets slash coin info. Sorry about that. Coin info slash. Uh, or dash infrastructure. I'm sorry. All right. Dash infra. Okay, I found it. All right. So on this one, hopefully you guys see this. Yep, you do. All right. On this, it shows a few of these key things. And the guy's right. You know, Dip Metaverse is right. It shows chain link, shows quant, shows the graph. Um, and I believe on the other screenshot he had, it says shows Jasmine. So look at that. So, I mean, what is this, you know, like this is where people have an issue. Like, you know, it's like Binance is like halfway in, halfway out. You know, it's like, I hate to use an analogy, like a double-edged sword, but like, what the heck is this? Why are they doing this? You know, it's like, and then on top of that, they have the, the whole tutorial on how you can buy this. So what is Binance basically doing here? That's the bottom line. You know, you're going to list these with some great projects. We talked about Ocean Protocol, right? We know that they are a, a personal data management platform. I think it's a great token. I might pick up like 
some uh, ocean protocol, to be honest. I think that's a great opportunity. But if you're going to list Jasmine in the monitoring, let's face it, like rebranded innovation zone, right? That's but the bottom line. You're going to still list it in, in this area with FTT, VGX, and so on. And then you're also going to list it over here. I mean, you know, how about this, guys? Let's look at it from this perspective, right? That's like, um, you know, going over to, I don't know, like uh, going to a mall or something like that, you know, and you go to a food court and it's just like, I don't know, you know, usually food courts normally have just like, here it is. There's not like one that's higher quality than the other, right? You might have your Dairy Queen. You might have your Panda Express or your Jade Express, wherever it is, depending on where you're at. You might have like a McDonald's. You might have whatever, right? You might have uh, the pizza place. What the heck was it? You know, um, you know, where you could buy like a slice of pizza, right? But none of them are judged based on like, oh, you know, this section of the, the food court's better than the other. That'd be ridiculous. Can you imagine if there was such a thing? This kind of reminds me of like if that was such a thing, right? You're going to put good quality projects in one section, which all of these, for the most part, are good pro quality projects. I haven't researched Gollum. I haven't researched Safe Pal. I sure as the heck researched uh, Ocean. I've researched A Star, Threshold, obviously Quant, Link, and so on, right? But that just simply does not make sense to me, you know? I mean, um, how about this other analogy? I'd be like going to. Uh, you know, like an expensive clothing line store, right? Like that sells, I don't know, Tommy Hilfiger or, you know, some of you guys have wives and girlfriends are into like Michael Kors and all that stuff, you know? And then you go into these stores, Chanel or whatever the heck it is. And then out of nowhere, there's just like a bunch of like clothes from, I don't know, the Value Village or the Goodwill all mixed up in there for like 25 cents. Now there's nothing against the Goodwill. God knows I... Gotten some great stuff over at the Goodwill. But the key thing is, wouldn't that be a little odd? Yes, it would be odd. So why is Binance doing this? That's the bottom line, right? Well, we got some more from Dip Metaverse in regards to this. So let's jump back to what we have. And we'll pull this up for a second. And as we get more into this, he just has a couple more points to discuss. And then we'll kick it into a little bit more Jasmine uh news for you guys he says currently jasmine being in, in a um excuse me in the monitoring section is not that different from being in the innovation zone so the floaters have basically pointed this out well if they're right basically why not say they're right right they might be right cz just worded it differently because he realized in the past that quote innovation zone was a misleading classification What's also misleading, everybody? Having it in two different sections, like we just literally discussed. All right, final point from Dip Metaverse. Now with seed and monitoring tags, he can better differentiate projects that are new that can demonstrate volatility. Volatility, Seed, for instance, from those with higher volatility. Monitoring. Jasmine will make its way out, I am sure. All right, okay. Dim Metaverse makes a really good point, and I really do appreciate his research. Great guy. My key thing is this. It's like you want it one way, Mr. CZ, to please supposedly the retail, and then you want the other way to make it look like, well, this is a quality project. Why can't you just do a proper, like, you know, PR move or announcement to please the community? he won't do that if he even hints anything from a business point of view it makes him look bad so instead of addressing any of it it's kind of a way of let's face it guys kicking the can down the road in his own way all right we're going to show you a little bit more in regards to this so um this was something else that was basically mentioned and if anything we'll pull this up and this, of course, makes a, a good point. You know, some of you guys seen this tweet. Um, this is from Promise. And he states, Binance updated how to buy Jasmine coin, but refused to remove Jasmine 
out of the innovation zone nor announce to the community what made Jasmine an unprogressive project. Again, I just don't think from a PR move that they're ever going to officially say anything. Why is that? Because it's literally been crickets since the first time this all happened. You will never see, um, you know, CZ officially make any type of uh, official announcement or anything in regards to that. If anything, it might come from um, a particular tweet that's not really directly connected to him that does represent Binance. All right, so let's jump into this for a second. Like this guy says, this is a market manipulation. Binance has queries to answer, of course, in his opinion. And here's what's basically referenced, right? Here is the whole entire thread. And you can see it for yourself if you go over to the Binance.com um, how to buy Jasmine page. And if you're wondering how long ago this was updated, this was updated literally today. So we're going to show you just a little brief bit of what we're talking about here. Talks about the live price of Jasmine. Talks about, for instance, how easily you could buy Jasmine, how you can make a free account over on Binance, you know, choose how you want to buy the Jasmine asset. Gives you like a little breakdown step by step on how to do that. Um, you know, how you could use literally your credit or your debit card. Even has videos, right? Minute 19 seconds and another one at like 208. Uh, bank deposits, third party, check the payment details. I mean, it, it literally tells you step by step how to buy Jasmine. Why would they go through all this trouble to show this? In my opinion, it is because they are setting up things for August 1st, unless there's a delay. But for the most part, the general consensus for most of us is, yes, this is going to happen on August 1st. And you know what? Say what you want. You basically put something like this that was literally um you know like 0 0.008 so not that far from becoming a penny we got so much innovate or uh momentum you know and then all of a sudden let's place it in the binance in you know innovation zone the tank the price up in fears people did panic selling all right panic selling i want you to think about this for a moment we'll kick it back in the comments for a sec a second now not every day do i give other content creators shouts out i mean crypto john obviously there's you know quant papa tokenizers people like that but not necessarily like youtubers right some of you guys like this guy a lot some of you guys are kind of mixed that's not the point the point is the message that he brings okay he did a really good job of breaking down this message now picture everything that we just discussed okay that's the main thing i want you to do everything that we just discussed okay and then from there I want you to now picture what is going to be presented here. I'm going to stop the screen and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I went ahead and fast forward to a key part because you know what? It's not just Jasmine. This applies to a lot of cryptos. You see the market go down a little bit. Some people say, oh, it's crashing to 12K BTC. That's not the case. So if you're new to crypto, and you're the type of person that you let your emotions get a hold of you and so on, you're going to want to watch this segment. Shout out to this guy um, who basically is the house of crypto. I know a lot of you guys watching me has 32,000 subs. I think he was spot on with this statement. Let's check out what he means and apply it toward the, towards the likes of what's happened, especially with Jasmine. Smash that like. Here we go. Here's some of the educational side of CTN. Here we go. I've in my comment section, which I love to get involved in now and then, I see people writing, uh, this is a dead coin, ICP, Algorand, Jasmine, you name it, people are telling me it's a dead coin. For example, in Jasmine, I've seen many times people saying, this is just a pump and dump coin, can't you see? My first thought is if you've got the time to go onto a video that you don't really want to watch in the first place, just to write a comment, then you probably should be finding something else to do with your time just an observation my second thought is you know why do people think that these are dead coins and are they dead coins is algorand dead is jasmine dead is xlm dead or anything dead out there right now for a period of time and then i realized that there's something very stupid going on and people are doing it over and over again and it's really starting to annoy me and this is really really stupid but i must address this because it's going to cause you massive problems it's ultimately the reason that everyone loses in crypto Okay, and it's because of things like this. Over the last month, we've seen a number of cryptocurrencies pumping towards the upside. We've seen XLM having a good time, Comp, XDC, 
are they tons of different cryptos that have had a really storming time in the markets? And that's all anyone is looking at right now, because obviously Algorand, Jasmine, etc., are dead coins. Are they actually dead though? Now, if you subscribe to my channel, then hopefully you'll have started to understand what I'm going to be looking at right now. Now, guys, it's important you understand this. Crypto markets run in cycles, which go between a bull market and a bear market and a little bit of in between each time. Now, I want you to understand what is happening in that market cycle. At the bottom of a market cycle, there are people buying. People aren't talking about it that often, but there's people buying because they know it's the bottom. Who knows it's the bottom at the bottom of a market? Is the big money investors, what are they doing? They start to accumulate at low prices. It's called an accumulation cycle. And here's an example on Investopedia. I don't even know what this asset is, but all assets pretty much operate like this. They go through an accumulation cycle. Notice what happens in this accumulation cycle. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. And then we get into the ascension cycle. And when you look at coins like, let's say, Casper right now and XLM right now and XDC right now, they are in the ascension cycle. That means that they've already been through the accumulation cycle. But the problem with this accumulation cycle is it fools stupid people who were like, oh, it's pump and dump because it's going up and then it just sells off and then it goes up and then it just sells off. How many times? How many times do we have to think about this, right? This happens over and over again. And the people who were down here being like, oh, it's a dead coin. Guys, let me show you another example. If this is not enough for you. Here we have another example. Okay, we've got New Zealand CAD. Okay, New Zealand dollar CAD on the one hour. And this happens on various time frames. okay? So what I want you to pay attention to is an accumulation phase. Look, the New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar isn't dead, okay? It just does the same stuff. Comes up, it accumulates. It looks to break towards the upside. Eventually, people will, they will sell off. And people will think it's going lower. The masses will start to sell off. And then eventually, once the accumulation is complete, it moves towards the upside. And why does everyone think it's a dead coin? Why is that important in the markets? Well, guys, the big money, okay, need you to think that it's going to die. Need you to keep selling and selling. Because they need to keep buying in order to fill up their bags. But if they buy too quickly and everyone else is trying to buy, guess what happens? The price will shoot up too quickly. So what do they need to do? They need to keep you thinking that something is dying. Notice that over time, we see bits of news come out at very important times. Just before we saw the BlackRock ETF stuff, we saw about, about a month ago, I want to remind you about SEC and what they were doing. And all these coins were getting taken off exchanges. What coins was I buying at that time? The likes of Solana, the likes of Cardano, because I kind of knew that this was just like scaring people out of the market. They scare people out of the market to make you do stupid stuff and sell the bottom, okay? And they can't get you to sell the bottom without scaring you into thinking, this is a dead coin. Then what's even more stupid is everyone starts to buy in to those coins that have already pumped. Like, I'm not saying that there's anything bad about XDC or Casper or anything like that. In fact, XDC has got some incredible stuff going on right now. And I'll cover that in a later video today. So make sure you subscribe if you want to find out more about XDC. But I want you to understand that right now, a lot of coins are going through accumulation phases. And I'm going to cover some of those coins and what they're looking like right now to make you understand some of the biggest errors people are making. Now, if we zoom out on a Jasmine chart, this is a very good example. Jasmine obviously had a super high price at some point and then it dropped back down. Everyone's was like, oh, it's a scam and loads of stuff going on. You know, I think at some point they just had a big release of tokens and then this was like bear market, okay? So it pretty much fits in line with the bear market. It came towards the downside. And then if you look at this kind of like tail down here, it does look like nothing is going on. This is a dead token. Let's zoom in though and see what's going on. Actually, if you were paying attention or not paying attention to all that's happened before, look at what's been going on since July 2022, okay? Just been in a gradual downtrend towards the downside. Eventually, though, we end up at a point at which we're going to start to see a turnaround. This, to me, looks like a wipe off accumulation that we've talked about before, and that at some point we may see a break uh, above this line. Once that happens, I think we're going to see a very big push in Jasmine because I like what Jasmine are doing. If you understand the projects, and what they're really doing, 
then don't pay attention to the kind of stuff that's like, oh, this is a Zay coin. And actually, if you've done the right research into any particular coin, I'm not telling you to go and buy Jasmine right now, okay? Go and research what Jasmine does. It's cool. Interesting project. Is it a good purchase? Well, I'll leave that down to you guys. But once you understand that these coins are good or bad buys, don't, don't get drawn into those guys who've got nothing better to do with their time and just sit on YouTube and sit in groups and just bash projects because it's just sort of a strange thing. I don't know why people have got time in their day to go on to a video that they don't care about to write something bad about a particular crypto. It's like, oh, mm. yeah. It's like, oh, I'm going to be really disheartened from that. Fine. Next one. Algorand. Guys, Algorand has so much stuff going on for it right now, okay? Algorand is one of the most exciting projects out there, in my opinion, okay? There's huge setups and stuff going on in India for Algorand right now. They've been doing a lot of work in France. India, I believe, is going to be pretty much at the forefront of Web3 development going forward. There's huge amounts of stuff being built around that infrastructure. Yet, there's stuff going on with Algorand and people are like, oh, it's a dead chart. Now, obviously, I want you to go and research these projects. I'm not saying 100% to go and buy them right now. But my point is, when people are like, oh, this is a dead coin. Guys, it's so, it's so stupid, right? When coins are moving down like this right now, look at Algorand, okay? Sit right here look at the last time it was in this area uh, we had a move in a single day what 15 16 percent dead coins with market caps as big as algorand don't do 16 percent moves in a day don't get me wrong there is coins that will eventually die okay but eventually you're going to see algorand in my opinion breaking beyond here and then we're going to be pushing back towards kind of highs up here stop just paying attention to coins that are pumping now and wondering how to get into them because it's so stupid. And I will bring this up over and over again, guys, because it's important that you understand what I'm going on about. It's important to have a bit of repetition, okay? And I know a lot of people don't necessarily pay attention fully the first time, and eventually you will get into the understanding. Stop looking at those shiny objects. Look at the stuff that's not done anything yet, because that's where you will find the diamonds in the rough. That's where you're going to make your money, okay? Now, obviously, guys, there are potential for some or any coin out there to go to zero, okay? I'm not saying that these are sure bet coins by any means, okay? But it's worth researching coins. And just because they've not pumped yet, I want you to understand that there's a good chance that they will pump, okay? I'm not just assuming that they're dead and taking your money out of like this. I just want to give you an example, and this is probably the stupidest move, but the move that most people will make. Let's say you're holding Algorand like right now, okay? Lots of people are holding Algorand. Uh, and they haven't really made any money on it. Okay, so it's been like maybe going up and down, maybe they're down 10%, maybe they're up 5%, whatever, okay? But what they do is they pull their money out of Algorand right now and they go and put it into, let's say, let's choose one. They put their money right now into Casper, okay? And there were people who would have done this right here, okay? So they would have taken maybe a loss of like 30%, 20% on Algorand. So let's say I start with $1,000, they've now got $800. They then go put $800 into Casper here because it's the shiny, exciting object. And then that $800 comes down here and they lose 70% on their $800, which is like $560. Is that right? It's a big loss. Okay. Because they get so excited about buying the shiny object because it can't possibly come down. It's just been going up, right? And then it comes up again. And now everyone's like, oh, I never bought um, Casper down here. When's the next time it's going to get down here so I can buy it again? How many times? How many times have I got to tell you guys? This is the dumbest stuff. Stop being emotionally driven by these things, okay? Do your hard, good research into coins. And I'm helping you do that. I'm getting my free telegram link down below, guys. And you can ask in there what people think of different projects. I talked about ICP yesterday. Great opportunity. Look at where it is right now. In my opinion, obviously, hasn't been pumping, okay? So, ICP. Is it a good time to buy? Well, it might go lower, but for sure, I'm pretty confident it's going to go higher. Is it a dead coin? No, no, stop it, okay? I hope that's just like a little bit of a home truth message for you. And if you've got time to be investing in crypto, you need to have time because if you've got lots of money, then just invest in Bitcoin, okay? But if you've got less money, you need to invest some time. Nothing, nothing good comes for free, okay? Nothing good comes easy that's a lesson for life right there okay the more you want to do the more you want to make the more you want to enjoy cryptocurrency the more you have to put some work in and actually the more work you put in the more you're going to enjoy it and it's going to be interesting and all that as well okay so just free money if you think about it like that 
you can get wrecked anyway. So let's use this to do some hard, good, hard work. All right, we give you a little bit of bonus there because you know what? He covers obviously a few things that we talk about here, you know, other than just Jasmine. Um, Algorand and so on. Talk a little bit about ICP. We gave you guys some of that intro. I think ICP is a great, solid project personally. Um, but the point was he gave you some great examples about, let's face it, some people, especially the newcomers, they do some of these things, right? It's just like they let their emotions get in the way and they don't understand, you know, how to recognize like the accumulation phase. How long, how long have we been talking here at CTN about the accumulation phase, right? Something that gets brought up maybe at least once a week, something like that, right? But we definitely do talk a lot about it because after that, it is basically the markup phase and so on and recognizing these four year cycles and, you know, at the end of the day, going from like a crypto winner or bear market to the actual, you know, bullish times we're all looking forward to.